ASAP. Uh, what, what do you make of it? You, I can't believe you published a report already, by the way. <laughs> this, this is what I do. This is what I do. No, no, look, so th there's not a lot in the article. I mean, it, it, the idea that Microsoft is doing their own processor is, is not new. Even the code name Athena, which is what it was, that's been reported on, supposedly they've been working on it since, since 2019. Um, the commentary around them, like offering financial support, to me, I wonder if this is more of a semi-custom model rather than like a direct silicon sale. Um, your, your viewers may not realize this, but AMD has a semi-custom business. They will help customers design processors and, and sell them. Their, their game console business is very similar to this. And the way this works is the customer funds the development cost, mm -hmm. and then AMD builds the designs and builds the chip. And then when they sell it, the customer gets that that those costs back. So for example, the, the game console chips only have 20% gross margins, they're low, but there's no OPEX to develop. And so to me, offering financial assistance kind of sounds like that. And I think that that certainly is, is good. If there's nothing wrong with it, um, semi-custom AI is be? better than no AI, but you know, maybe for, it's not as good as selling a GPU. Yeah, but, forgive but, me for, for interrupting you. I just want to try yeah. to get to the heart of it too. Is Is, is it a game changer? In the way that you would look at AMD when, when seemingly NVIDIA has all of the chip hype around AI? Yeah, well, look, if nothing else, it certainly helps to bolster the narrative, right? AMD has been trying, especially like, you know, the other day, I, I, don't, I, I didn't count how many times in a, AMD said AI in the call, but it was a lot. And they're trying to, you know, spin that as the next growth driver for the company. Um, and up until now, there hasn't been a lot. They have their, their they have a GP roadmap, the next product is called the MI300. You get a little in supercompute, but hoping for like a lot is, is it's a lot of, of hope, but you don't know. This is something that maybe is more concrete and it does help to bolster that narrative if, if nothing else, right? And so that that is helpful. Um, and so we'll see how this goes. Um, we'll see if Microsoft is the only one. Semi-custom models can can happen for, for many different players, but it certainly does help to bolster the narrative, yes. I mean, let, let's not forget too, what are we just, 48 hours or so removed yeah. from from AMD giving weak sales guidance and yeah, suddenly we're not talking not about that anymore are we what, what, what's that sorry I said we're not talking about that anymore are we no no it, it's the stock is almost back to where it was before the earnings right and again like in this environment like you you know this is everybody's looking for the AI winners and the AI losers right now um and you know look if, if and everybody's been sending out these like baskets of stocks in each category and you know, if this narrative can help you put A and D into the basket of AI winners, I mean, that's 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 good, at least for the for the performance and the narrative. Even if, from a fundamental basis, my guess is significant revenue is going to be a while. Like again, just the way these kinds of things work. But you know, if it helps the story, it helps the story. But you're not. So it doesn't sound like you're going to be looking in the in the days ahead, or the let's say say even the the weeks ahead, to rethink your estimates. I, I doubt it has anything to do with estimates in the near term. I, I mean, even, again, if you read it, they've been working on it for several years. If AMD has been involved for several years, by the way, there may already be something in, in the runway for the, on, the, on the semi customer. We don't know yet. Um, it said that they may actually deploy the first gen next year. The article itself kind of suggests it was sort of an acknowledgement that the first gen probably wasn't going to be competitive, mm -hmm. which would be typical for these sorts of things. It takes time, and in NVIDIA and everything else, there are pretty big gaps. So All right. I wouldn't be holding my breath. But to be honest, when, when AMD first started selling server chips, like with their first Epic product was called Naples, the, the initial sales were very small. I mean, it was more of a reference design than anything else. It took years to ramp. Eventually, it did ramp. Right? I mean, it, they launched Naples in 2015, I think. So eight years, it's, it's ramping. All right, big, big stock move. Um, thanks so much for coming on. Needed to hear your voice okay. today on this. That's Stacey Raskin. <laughs>